All right, what up, guys? We're back at it with some Fable Aeon Edition. In the last video, we beat the uh, first half of the game. We also did the uh, the new secret quest Alexander added to the game, the uh, Golden Chest quest. We did that one. That was pretty exciting. And now it's finally time to jump into Snowspire. We've got the uh, Prophets of the Fireheart to do still, so we might as well just whip that through so we can unlock Snowspire and all that. I'm thinking we'll get to the point of unlocking Snowspire, and then we're going to go on a little bit of an exploration tour here. Like I mentioned in the last video, a lot of stuff in the world is supposed to change after the first Jack of Blades fight. And now that we're done with the first Jack of Blades fight, I'd like to go through the world and just see what's different, what's changed, if there's any secrets hidden anywhere that I've missed, that sort of thing. So we're just going to try to rush through this as fast as possible, honestly. I honestly hate this quest so much. Not only just because like it really didn't need to exist, but because like it literally sucks, dude. So the real question is, do you think there's going to be any extra like teleporters anywhere other than this uh, Hook Coast one? I think that's like the first like real major change is that there's this teleporter to the uh, Bowerstone South treasure chest trove or whatever. I take it the fire heart's in place then. Get! Make me dance to ass! Oh, right, I'll fuck this bitch up. How far can we run before she's like, hurry, there's more of them. More summoners. Ah, got him. There we go. Dude, what are you doing? I'm like literally already done here, bro. We, we? what the fuck is this we shit? See, the thing is, I don't think this is a new location, though. This is, like, an old one. Who is chasing me and why? Oh, it's this guy. Guess what? You can't get shit. Oh, what's this? I always wanted to live in Albion as a kid, imagining myself as a great hero, doing quests and all that. Truth is, I have a really bad immune system, so I'd probably get really ill a week into my new life, violently shit myself, and die. God. It's, like, not how I expected that one to go. Hey, wait, 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 wait. What the fuck? This is bullshit. God damn it, he stops taking fucking damage. What is this shit? Why do fucking enemies do this? I really don't understand. You can't even kill shit in this game anymore, bro. Like, what the fuck? Is this medallion gonna come back, or is the fucking world broken? What's going on here? Hmm. Weird. Like, generally speaking, if there's no medallion, like, you fucked something up, and you probably have to leave the world and come back and it'll show up again. I've never seen a silver medallion that starts disappeared, but like gets triggered by something to reappear, right? I wonder if that's a change he made. Cause I feel like I remember in the last version of this, in the 1.2 version of the mod, I seem to recall I was able to sneak past the snow troll early and just not fight him. I may be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure it let me do that. So he must've changed something that makes it so you literally physically can't until you fight him. I think I actually know where this thing is already. This is one that he mentioned in the uh, little list he gave me. That's right. Man augmentation, experience augmentation, some potions. Eh, this is pretty decent, I guess. All right, so we're gonna see what these shops have real quick. And then we're gonna go hit, uh, I guess like Greatwood or something. Oh, he sells the Ashen Solus Greatsword. Look at him go. You're watching what, you fucking bitch? Yeah, watch me again, I fucking dare you. Yes. Oh, yes! Yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. Don't involve me, I don't want nothing to do with yes, it. Yes, and don't get involved if you don't want to be involved. Shut up. Literally nothing fancy here. Okay. Okay. And then, uh, real quick, we're gonna save the game, because I'm gonna do something that has the potential to crash the game. Double speed. See, now we don't have to waste as much time, like, literally just walking around and exploring the joint. We can just do it as fast as we can. We do have some, like, interesting fishing spots. And I guess at this point, I might as well use my newfound abilities to fish, right? <clears throat> Seeing as how it's impossible to, like, fuck it up. Wow, 100 gold. Okay, so that wasn't worth it. Ah, look at this. I mean, for all I know, this was here before and I just missed it, but... Experience augmentation. Wait a minute. So you can get an experience augmentation, like, literally right off the bat. Unless this is something that only shows up after you beat Jack of Blades, which I would hope it is, because if not, that means you could quite literally get an experience augmentation, like, as a kid. Pretty bizarre. I'm gonna have to, like, try that someday. I'm not really sure if you'd actually be able to do anything with it as a kid. You probably have to at least wait until you're a teenager. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm almost wondering if this was here. Wedding ring and a diamond, huh? 
What the fuck? Oh, that's part of the wall. I'm like, yo, dude, there's an obelisk here, bro. What does this mean? Yeah, what does this mean, right? Hey, wait, this is the front door? What the hell? I think that's the experience thing. It's crazy. It means the teleporter's on the other side, huh? I don't know why that's weird to me, but that's weird to me. And this is definitely why I wanted to do double time, because it's like really, really just a lot of exploring nothing here. I'm try to use this door real quick. See if it'll let me. Nice. Oh yeah, the loading screens get sped up too. It's the craziest part. Literally shouldn't be possible, but it totally is. And we're in the same place but different. Isn't that weird? It's so weird how that works. It's like the camera automatically points towards where it wants you to go. It's like, oh, no, 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 no. There's nothing over here. We got to point you back to where you came from. Like, I swear to God, that's all it's doing. Is it's like sending some like return signals or something like that. It's like, no, we don't want the player to walk that way. So turn them around is basically what it's doing. Because it's like, if you want to walk back to where you came from, it's, it's super easy. Literally just press forward and you will go back to where you came from. Now this shit I hate. I hate when it starts to get dark. It just, it makes everything so much easier. Ah, ah! Apparently the reasoning behind a lot of these places not having stuff is for some reason like even though places will look like perfectly flat and like perfect like when you go into like the chocolate box or whatever the fuck they use to make mods these days. Apparently like even though it looks visually flat like there's a bunch of weird artifacting and stuff that makes it like not flat or something. I don't know. Or like makes object placement not flat. I forget exactly what the uh, technicalities of it was but something along those lines. So like this looks like it would be perfect to store some shit, but I'm sure there's like that same issue over here and you just can't. The stuff I forgot at Orchard Farm isn't even like hidden stuff either. And this is crazy that you can just like cut straight over to these docks. Here's the one thing. A hob head. Okay, that was like literally nothing. The best mod ever for this game would be a mod that like fixes the camera angle when you go in the water somehow. It'd be fucking the most clutch thing to ever exist. I don't know, like, I swear to God this like dock is not here in the normal version of the game because like I straight up don't remember this thing being here. I fucking love this fishing rod, dude. I really do. It's nothing. What are you doing here? Orchard farm, new silver key chest location, bright bodyguard gloves. Oh, you know what's wrong with me is I didn't do this quest, so of course I didn't find that one. How did I just, like, new silver key chest location, orchard farm, and I just, like, didn't go there? Oh, bodyguard armor. Oh, this is, like, the strongest one so far, too. That's crazy. That's honestly, like, one of the strongest, like, weird, like, tertiary armors I've gotten. It's, like, usably strong. That was nice. I'm glad I checked that, because I would have completely spaced on it. Did I even open the normal chest, or did I just get excited about the silver key? I did just get excited about this. So there's not going to be anything fun in here, but whatever. Oh my god, 100 gold. Good thing we turned back. God damn it. It's too annoying. It really is. I'd much rather just not fucking deal with it. New bandits here, huh? These guys are all dressed pretty interestingly, I gotta say. Alright guys, hold up. I'm gonna be right there. I just realized we're fighting in twice the speed. Do I get the blue bandit armor now? No, not quite. I think it looks pretty clean so far. Well, maybe there's nothing hiding here. But, you know, maybe I'll get a message from Alexander at some point. Like, oh, no, you actually missed something. We got any of them thingies? That's definitely not going to be enough of those. We'll try it anyway. Ow, dude. Okay, bro. My fucking god, dog. Just fuck off already. Oh, wow. Four of them is enough. Or maybe it was because I killed the people? I don't know. Listen here, Buster. He's dead. The other thing, too, is it's like, theoretically, there could be things hiding in, like, these, right? Like, I think I have seen, like, maybe signs. I forget which demon door it was, but yeah, there was that one demon door that had those weird, like, cube square enemy looking things or whatever. So, like, really, yeah, bottom line, you just never know what the hell this dude's gonna put where. It's actually kind of a really slow run through so far. I have to go back to Bowerstone, though, and get some daylight. I can't fuck with this shit. I just can't. There's no, like, secret teleports hiding anywhere. Oh, that guy just did a backflip. I finally saw some of those, uh... Some of those new combat styles. I mean, I'm sure I've seen them. I just, like, haven't been paying enough attention to notice them. But 
I noticed that one. He did a backflip. Oh, I never even did this quest. That's right. This lady just like doesn't have a fucking grandson anymore. Did I skip that quest? Never even like thought of it that way. If you don't do that quest, like her fucking grandson just fucking dies, bro. I don't know if people ever like quite consider that reality. But yeah, that, that kid is definitely fucking deceased at this point. Damn, dude, we straight up don't have a fucking rose. That's crazy. Oh, you really wow. Me like, that worked. I wonder, can you give him anything? Does it have to be a rose? Or can you just give him anything? Cause that fucking worked. Well, there's the red rose. What's here? I think I think he moved the silver key, didn't he? A fucking health potion, bro. Come on. You have these like very specific dig spots that used to have silver keys. And like you could put something super awesome there. But he's all like, eh, there's a fucking health potion, bro. We gotta do something with this spot. What the hell is even this? It's like semi-tempting to check out Hob Cave, but it's like, is there really gonna be anything fucking different there? I'm just gonna assume it's not worth going in there. Wait, it's almost dark again? What happened, bro? We literally just fucking solved that problem. It sucks, too, because, like, Darkwood is already fucking dark, dude. It's so dark, it looks like the game is in black and white right now, bro. Like, what is happening? I don't know why, like, video game developers think that people actually want this much dynamic range, because literally nobody does. Like, people don't want to play a fucking pitch black game where, like, you can't distinguish between black and that other shade of black. Like, literally nobody ever asked or wanted for that, bro. Like... I don't know why people think that like dynamic range is a good thing because it's just not like I'd much rather be able to see and hear everything than have dynamic range like dynamic range is so like not necessary in almost every single scenario it really confuses me that it's like even a thing like outside of like a movie theater like dynamic range should not exist at all whether it's music or like video or video games like there should be zero dynamic range ever it's unnecessary it's like oh dynamic range in the audio oh gee the, the only thing I ever wanted in my entire life was to not be able to hear any fucking dialogue and then to blow my speakers out every time there's an explosion like oh yeah that was a good idea wasn't it like i can't hear fucking shit except for that explosion that just destroyed my speakers i could hear that and that's like what everything is like these days like even places that like don't need it you'll be like watching a, a fucking like youtube video you'll be watching like a cletus mcfarland youtube video about like drag racing and like you can't hear a fucking goddamn cock sucking word the dude is saying and then like the anytime a car comes on screen it's like <laughs> And like that's like literally the difference between the audience. Like, bro, you ever heard of a fucking compressor? Literally use it, bro. Like there's music on it's like <gasps> And then the dude starts talking like this. Hey, he has to go and like, hey, welcome to my YouTube video. This is my YouTube video. Like why? Why is it so hard for people to figure out like dynamic range? I don't understand. Like literally just watch your video once and you'll be like, oh, wow, yeah, no, that, that sound is too loud and that sound is too quiet. I should add some compression. But like, I swear to God, nobody play tests their video games. Nobody watches their videos before they upload them. Nobody does any of this shit, bro. And that's why like all media these days, like quite literally sucks fucking dick. Cause nobody tries anymore. They just like, they fucking whip some shit together and then like send it out into the fucking ether. And then, like, fucking other people who are trying to enjoy their content have to discover that they fucked it up, right? Like, it's just laziness, bro. Like, just figure out dynamic range. It's not that hard. Hey, wait a minute. Did I really miss this? The katana hurry. I remember that now. Maybe that's why I didn't get it, because I already knew what was in it. So this is the most interesting thing. We have these guys and these guys now. I haven't even been here yet. There we go. It's a 15er. Oh, well, here we go. Perfect. The fifth Reggie stuff. I was just thinking of that stuff. Oh, that stuff is stronger than the other one. Ooh, and it comes with a hat. Look at me go. I think it's worth getting the sex thing. Oh, I like this. I didn't realize these guys had purple guard uniforms. That's the shit right there, bro. Let me get that one. Are you just going to add all this cool shit to the game and then, like, not even let us have it, right? These fucking hedges are fucking up my whole free roam deal. Oh, here we go. Here lies Ron, the Balverine layer. No, that's not a misprint. Yes, it is probably for the best that he's dead. Jesus Christ. It's definitely some hits posting shit right there. That's for sure. Shit, man, I'm actually like running out of time here. This is ridiculous. It's crazy how fast you can get into this demon door, honestly. Do one more just for good luck. There's only 100 gold. She's not even the cheapest one. That's the craziest part. Like, she's actually kind of cute. And she's only 100 gold. That's crazy. And then Polly's like, what, 50 gold? She's like the only conventionally attractive one in there. And she's the cheapest. Like, even this fucking weirdo is like, what, 500 gold probably? 200? No. No, no, they don't. What's it like? That's right, there is something going on in here. 
Blah. Blah. She deserves to die. Is there any bonuses around here? Pun intended on the bonus. It's all about those forbidden fishing spots, bro. <clears throat> 110 fucking grams. Jesus Christ. You just like fish in the most like butthole random fucking places and it's like, oh yeah, 110 gram fish. There you go. Dude, this place is like open, open, bro. This is crazy. Like, it is honestly quite rare for something to be like this open, like all the way to the edge of the screen like that. Sheesh. This place is so open, they've got like textures they didn't even fill in. All right, there should be beds here, right? I'm literally gonna fucking kill you if you don't move. Took too long, bro. Sorry, sir. You can't come up unless you're in the company of a lad. Understandable. Wait, it fucking throws me out here. Oh, they're all red still. That's crazy. I'm not happy about that. Oh, I killed somebody. Oops. That was a lot of counts of vandalism, bro. He's in my ring of fire. Alright. It's fucking daytime anyway. Let's get out of here. Wait, do I not have any health potions? What is going on right now? I do have health potions, so why is the game just being fucking retarded, bro? It's really trying to get me to eat this stupid fucking, like, $50,000 gemstone instead of using a potion, bro. That's the craziest part. All right, this is gonna be the last place I search, and then we're gonna have to, like, pick up on some of this stuff in the next video, because we are definitely at our time mark. It's, like, vaguely infuriating, too, because, like... I honestly didn't make it all that far. I didn't even make it to Oakvale or anything. We've still got like, oh, like the Naho Glade area and all that shit, man. All right, so I guess we're just going to leave it here and we'll pick up with this exploration in the next video. So hopefully we'll be able to make it through like Oakvale and like possibly into like the Twin Blade camp and all that stuff and then into Naho Glade. And I guess we still have like the Bowerstone North areas and all that stuff. God damn it, there's like the prison path too. Oh no, this might actually take a while. We'll just have to pick up on this search in the next video, so I will see you guys then. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, show the algorithm some love and hit that like button for me. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on all my latest gaming content. Of course, for as little as 99 cents a month, you can become a channel member and help support the channel monetarily. On that note, I'd like to give a special shout out to my active channel members. Thank you all for your continued support. It is definitely greatly appreciated, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.